One thing too, with, with my Parkinson's clients, a lot of them are older and <clears throat> sometimes it's not the Parkinson's that's getting away the, in the way of the training. It's, you know, sciatica and, you know, I don't know if it, if it was caused before or after, but, but there's other issues that they're dealing with that is preventing the training. So one particular individual with Parkinson's, he's been having really severe lower back pain to the point where we'll have to cut the session 30 minutes short, put him on the hypervibe after our, our um, session one day for 30 minutes. And he came back 10 days later because he was out of town, didn't have any pain in his lower back. Wow. That's the longest he's gone without lower back pain in two years. But not only that, because he didn't have that lower back pain, he had the most successful, efficient um, session with me that he has had in over a year. Wow. And now I'm noticing that his coordination and his ability to connect his hands with his feet is improving because his mind is focused on the actual training. It's not focused on the pain that he's trying to, to set aside, you know, to focus. So, so that's huge.